Hi. Next stage with the papier mache beads. They've now dried out quite beautifully. And so I wanted to show you, you can put sort of two or three, four on a stick. What I want to show you now is um, basically how to sort of get a bundle of them like that. What I've done is I have mixed up um, a big jar or glass, um, this is about a pint glass, of a mixture of um, PVA glue and water, 50-50, half and half. And I've mixed it up with um, kind of just warm water. And what I've got is a sort of consistency that's like very thin cream or maybe a smoothie. If you can imagine a smoothie without the seeds and the bubbles, that's how it is. So you simply, all you do is just put them in. And what happens now is a bubble will start to appear. So you just move it around a bit. That. And what you're trying to do is just allow the PVA glue to get right inside the paper. So you shake the paper with water, and then you dry off the paper, and then you want to impregnate the paper with glue. Blue paper has just a little bit of glue in it to hold it together, which is called size. And by wetting it, basically just washing all that away, but in order to make these held together, we need to reintroduce glue, but a lot of glue at this time. So we just let them bubble away. I don't know if you can see the bubbles coming out. You know, you can see it's absorbed actually quite a lot of the, um, of the glue. And then you let it drip like this for a little while, knock off some of the glue. And then what I do is I put on the table a um, piece of plastic or J-cloth or newspaper. I um, used to have a puppy that used to wee on the kitchen floor. And so we had these um, puppy training pads, which I still have a huge box full of. They're plastic on one side and um, a sort of quilted paper, which has got some kind of silica gel inside. So it absorbs lots of water. So they're just perfect for working on, on the kitchen table. And what I do is I just place these into a glass jar, sort of round and round like that. And then I leave them to dry. Now I did dry off, I've got a bubble there, I did dry off some of the paper ones I made earlier in the microwave and they work perfectly. But there was a quite uh, faint smell of burning paper towards the end, but they're only for four minutes. And I think that probably is a good way to go if you're one of those families that have a microwave. I've always been very purist and never had one, so I've only just tried it out now and I'm delighted to find out that it does actually work. I did Google it first and it said, yep, how can my shape microwave for four minutes works. So I'll leave these all to dry. I'm going to make a whole bundle of them, leave them to dry, and then the next stage will be painting. See you later. Bye.